Next answer is Anthony Rose. West Coast Swing is what we're talking about today. Specifically, for a lot of people, when they first started dancing West Coast Swing, they think it's difficult, it's complicated, there's all these steps, all this stuff you gotta know, and they put all this attention on stuff that doesn't even matter. So today we're talking about the stuff that actually does matter that takes you dancing from this is hard to why was that ever difficult to me in the first place? It all makes sense now, so stick around. All right guys, so you guys are watching this video, so we're making a couple assumptions. Number one, you were at least interested in learning how to dance West Coast Swing, right? Or you'd probably be watching something else. But the other assumptions are that either you're a beginner and it's become complicated for you and there's just so much stuff to do, or you've kind of danced the stuff, you get an idea of the basics, but now you're kind of wanting to take it to the next level. The secret is going to be not what is the next level, but how do we fix that beginning level so everything beyond that is really, really simple. By the way, if you guys are new to this channel, welcome to our channel. We hey. post Two Step West Coast Swing pretty much every single week. And if you've been around for a while, thank you guys so much for joining us here. Either way, there's a little button down here and that button says subscribe. You know what happens if you hit that button? Cool things. Cool thing. You know when all the awesome stuff has happened on the channel. So click that button and then you'll be an ex dancer too. All right guys, so we thought about how do we get across this point. This is a huge point, one that you need to know, but how do we get it across without just telling you, rather than that, having you guys actually have the realization to yourself. So we're doing something a little bit different in this video. All right guys, so here's how we've chosen to do this. We're gonna take some basic patterns that most of you guys probably already know, and we're gonna dance it twice, all right? So the first time we dance it, we want you guys to watch it and figure out what is different. How are we doing something different in this set of basic patterns? And then we'll dance it again and we'll reveal the secret, okay? What we're trying to do is get your attention on what actually matters. So what we're gonna do is an underarm pass followed by a whip pattern and a sugar push. Here we go, so we have. Figure it out? If you did, comment down below, all right? But if you didn't, don't worry, we're getting ready to show you. So here's the secret, okay. We're gonna do the same stuff, exactly the same way that we just danced it to put attention on what's actually important. Here's what we did. We danced walk, 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 walk. Right? What we did was just walk it out. All right guys, we're gonna take this one step further. We're gonna dance the same patterns again, and this time something is going to be different. A different thing is going to be different, and I want you to try to figure out what it is. We're gonna show you widescreen this time so you can try to figure it out. You ready? Same patterns. Ready, and. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. Did you figure that one out? You can rewind it, see if you can figure it out then. Here's what's different. What's different is, is I was literally on the wrong foot. Every, I was on the follower's footwork. I started with my right foot the entire time. Watch this again. We kept the base, basic counts, but I start with my right foot. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. One, two, three, and four. Five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. What I'm saying to you now is you could literally be on the wrong foot all the time, and in 99% of scenarios, it doesn't matter. All right, guys, there's a couple videos that are on here that are really, really important. This one is for the six count secrets. It's basically the structure of a six count pattern, okay? So now if we do that uh, six count basic that we did earlier, like an underarm pass, and we did it with just some basic timing that all of you guys know, it would look like this. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. What's actually happening, we'll do that same thing again. She comes towards me, there's the variation, and there's the anchor. That's three sections of two beats of music. So she comes towards me, something happens, anchor in place. But the same thing could happen even if we don't do those footworks, right? Like her body's still going to the same place, I'm still leading in the same way. So if we just walked it out this time, it could be she comes towards me, something happens, anchor in place. Right? So we could do that same thing even though the footwork is different. Now in an eight count pattern, like a whip pattern, there's the video for the eight count structure, secrets. There's a different structure, four sections of two beats of music. So she's gonna come towards me, 
she comes back, there's the variation and there's the anchor. So she comes towards me, I start bringing her back, something happens and then it's anchor in place. Now we can do that same thing again, even if we just walked it out, right? So she comes towards me, she comes back, variation, anchor, right? So again, that is walk, 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 walk. She still goes the same place. We still do the same thing. Now, a lot of people also ask about footwork and syncopations and things like, like fancy stuff to do with your feet. You want to get to that, but the only reason to ever do that is if you understand where it is you want to go, what it is you're actually doing. Okay, so then once you know where you're going or what you're doing, you can pretty much do almost anything with your feet, right? So we'll give you a couple just basic variations of that just to show that we're still doing the same thing. Guys, in West Coast Swing, there's a lot of emphasis on footwork and syncopations. We get asked for it all the time, not only in this channel, but here in the studio and everything too. But here's what we're here to say. That stuff doesn't really matter. Like it's cool to do and it's an extra layer to put on top. What really matters is where you're going, what you're doing, how you're connecting with your partner. You have to get that stuff first because if you just add syncopations and footwork without understanding where you're going, what you're doing, it's just gonna be a great big hot mess. So what we're gonna do is demonstrate that we can dance a few basic patterns without the syncopations, just like scripted, vanilla, boring, but I want you to pay attention to where it is we're going and what we're doing, and then we'll show you with you know some footwork and stuff like that. So just basic patterns. Guys, the point we're making here is that what you do with your feet, what the steps are, that stuff is not the stuff that truly, truly matters. What matters is where you're going, what you're doing, what the intent, like how do you partner, how do you lead, and how do you follow? So down in the description below, I'm gonna link those two videos again. The six count secrets, make sure to watch that one. It's gonna break down pretty much everything you need to know for a six count pattern. And then the eight count secrets, watch that one too. If you guys know that stuff, then the syncopations, the footwork, that stuff's gonna be easy. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys the next time. All right, gee. Oh, fuck. Gee. Who's gee? Gee guy. Gee. Hey, gee. Shout out to gee. <laughs>